Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, welcome. My name is Nicole. I am a full-time reseller on eBay. I like to buy, sell, and collect items from the 1980s, 90s, and early 2000s. In today's video, I would like to share with you some of my favorite finds that I picked up yesterday when we went out sourcing. We drove through a few towns and we stopped along at the thrift stores along the way through. So keep on watching to see some of the items that we found. First item is a tea kettle pot. Um, it has a battery compartment. I believe that it probably lights up and makes sounds. A VTech, um, like a little doll that goes with the play sets. A little clock. It is bright colored, yellow, orange, plugs in. Alarm clock. 1970s Nerf pool. Play pool. This was on a, a table for free. Great escape. I had actually went sourcing this past summer in a town called State College. I had saw that two different times. I didn't pick it up. Um, so when I, I got when I went home, I actually looked it up and I saw that it actually sold for good money. So I could have kicked myself not picking that up. So I was happy to see it again and it was free. This was also on the table for free. Clue two, murder in disguise. This is actually a VHS tape game. Princess and the Pea game. This reminds me of Creepy Crawlers. It is called Weird and Wild Creatures. It's a plastic case, uh, case with a bunch of um, cards inside of it. It has loads and loads of cards. It has information on them. This is a wood builder set. Probably from the 80s. Uh, Fisher Price 2005, Bert and Ernie. It's a weighted ball. It's like plastic. Um, the brand is called Home Co. Has about five or six different of these ballerina figurines standing on the wall. A few girls with different poses. They had about, um, I want to say between six and eight of these. They are new old stock, Calvin Klein, straight leg, women's or men's jeans. They are a size 32, 34, straight, with cool color block. Tommy Hilfiger is really big right now. This is a pair of 2T. Overall bibs with the carpenter loop, hammer loop on it, and it says Tommy Jeans on it. I'll try to squeeze Brady, my son, into it to get a picture. Sesame Street uh, TV remote. I had found uh, two of these, two similar to this uh, before, and they sold really well. Found some 1990s. Looney Tunes ties. This is sports tie. This one out of the way is pretty big. This is a queen or a full size Aladdin uh, Jasmine with her tiger on it. Double sided comforter. It's a heavy blanket. So two different sides, kind of big, get that out of the way. With Easter coming up, I'm sure this will do well. 
This is a 1990s um, Winnie the Pooh egg dyeing kit and it has some kind of game on the back. Little Mermaid plastic backpack. How cool is this bedazzled hat? I think I'm actually going to keep this for myself. Maybe wear it once or twice. In my last, um, I think it was one or my last one or two videos, I had talked about Cootie brand gains. In this uh, video, I found Don't Spill the Beans and Don't Break the Ice. I think this is Bob the Builder. Lunchbox. New old stock cowboy socks. Put this on the floor and it rolls. There's a dog and a cat. They're plush. Makes um, sounds. With Gigapet and Nano Pets being really popular, um, I did pick up this digital photo frame. I thought it would do well. Mickey Mouse electric guitar. Play school lighted musical guitar. Little vacuum. What else? 1990s little kids typewriter. Does make sounds. Looney Tunes Velcro um, mitt and ball. I guess it's to help a child to learn how to catch. Mousetrap 2005. This is a magnets and heat set. Probably put it in the microwave to heat it up. Little Tykes guitar rattle. And it does make sounds. Yeah, it needs batteries and a radio. I'll sell that as the set. Whack-a-mole. Found this leapfrog kitty phone. And I found a whole big box of vintage um, party supplies. There was like flowered ones and there was flint stones. Stones one. There's Fred and Barney and Bam Bam and Pebbles. I just sold one of these not too long ago. It's called a Shake Car. It just like it doesn't really do much, but a plush keychain that you put change in. This little person. African American. Tights and bicycle shorts. And last up is this plus 2005 Dora holding an Easter basket. Best for the last. Little Tykes uh, makeup vanity. Mirror. One side has the light up side, and the other side is the full length mirror. I'm gonna have Jared um, see if he can 
find out where the batteries go to that to see if it works. Um, I haven't decided if I wanted to sell it or hold on to it. I actually have the Little Tykes Beauty Salon and I'm hoping that we have a little girl so I can play all of these toys with her. But if I don't, then that's okay. I will sell them. I thank you guys for watching my video. If you liked anything that I had mentioned, my eBay stores will be listed down below as well as my Instagram name. Please follow me on Instagram. I like to post daily updates of my business and home life. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and like this video so I know that you're enjoying it. And as always, I thank you for watching and until the next video, bye!